Hey, what's up, Justin here. And what I wanted to talk about today is not conserving energy. So if you think of all life forms, just as a thought experiment, as just these little balls of energy bouncing off each other and trying to compete to survive and pass on their DNA, it can maybe help you understand human motivation just a little bit better. So the universe is made up of energy and matter. It matters what you can touch and energy is what makes things move. So when you die, the energy and matter doesn't get removed from the universe. It just changes to something else. So the earth is just this constant changing organism where you're part of it and you get to experience it for a short period of time. Now in terms of not conserving energy, if you think of yourself as this little ball of energy that's part of something a lot bigger than yourself, you can maybe understand why you might want to go out and do things when logically you just want to relax and you want to do nothing. No matter how positive you are and how many good intentions you have, you are going to have a lot of failure and disappointment. <laughs> so. The important part is to go out and exert energy, try different things, and learn from those failures. Look at everything as a lesson and try and think of what you can learn from certain things that you go out and do. Now, if you are a little ball of energy, maybe you can understand kind of like a magnet how maybe you might bounce off some other people and have some uh, enemies even and how maybe you can link up with someone who's got a similar temperament to you and who you can connect with on an energetic level. So when I'm older, I understand that probably I'm gonna have a lot less energy and I'll be more inclined to relaxing, I understand that. But for this period of my life, I also think that working hard, going out and just filling up my schedule is a pretty fun thing to do. So if I can go out and learn as much as I can at this part of my life, I can reap the rewards from that later on. When you're a child, you don't wanna conserve your energy, you wanna spend as much energy as you can you want to explore there's so many things to do on this planet there's so many adventures to go on there's so many people to meet there's so many books to read I almost feel like I'm running out of time sometimes and to do all the things that I want to do I know that I'm not going to be able to master every single art form but I know I'm going to be able to master a few maybe and I'm going to be able to do a lot if I go out and I try and you can have that childlike curiosity and that sense of just exploration and wanting to go out and do things and remaining positive if you don't think oh I gotta get up early tomorrow I should probably just chill I think it's important to go out and try to have some urgency in wanting to retrieve your dreams today and not in the future because the future is not really guaranteed and even thinking that way isn't going to get you what you want. There is some aspect of patience and some dance that you have to play with the universe you can't control things there is some sort of subjective control that you can have and think that you are in control of your destiny but if you're forcing things it's probably not going to turn out in your favor whereas if you can relax and maybe get into the flow of things energetically a little bit more even if it isn't really voluntary and you do want to just chill and do nothing there is some aspect of becoming a person who's in his prime and is doing what he wants to do and can achieve things and learn things if you can exert willpower and discipline to educate yourself and go out and achieve things learn take the lessons from everything that you do then the path of education is worth it. So I hope you gained some value from this video. If you look at this as a way of thinking, not the way of thinking, perhaps maybe you can get more in touch with that childlike self and have that curiosity and that just enthusiasm for life and you can go out and have a little bit of fun with it. So I'll catch you guys next time.